Well, hey, boys and girls, <laughs> probably wondering what I'm doing with all this fun stuff on today. Um, um, this is for looking at flowers close up. Oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna read a story about flowers today. It's science. So excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. You know, scientists are a little wacky. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, today we're gonna to read a story called Blossoms. Oh, look at those beautiful flowers on there. Look once. These red and green buds will soon open. Snowy white flowers will appear. Wow. It doesn't look like a white flower will come. These are the flowers of an apple tree. Bees visit the flowers to drink their sweet nectar. They leave pollen from other trees. When the pollen falls onto a flower, the flower grows into a crisp, tasty apple. Yum! These are the stamens or the male part of a brilliant flower. Ooh, look at all that pollen on there. Cosmo flowers act like a target for insects. When insects land on them, they rub against the stamens. Soon they are covered with pollen. Now the insects will carry pollen to other Cosmos flowers. Look how cool. When no one mows the lawn, these tiny flowers may appear. Oh, how pretty. They're translucent. You can see through them. Did you know grass plants have flowers? Wow. The flowers are small and white. Pollen grains fall from the flowers and the wind carries them away. If a pollen grain lands on another grass flower, a grass seed will grow. Up close, these may not look familiar, but everyone knows this dandy yellow flower. Hmm, who thinks they know what it is? A dandelion flower head is made out of many tiny flowers packed tightly together. Ooh. Each flower head has more than 100 tiny flowers. These sturdy plants grow everywhere, even in cracks in parking lots. Do these look like speckled tubes or like a glove? Oh, how beautiful. Bees love that. They like to find those little places and go in there. Foxglove flowers grow in bunches. Hmm. Each flower is like a little tube that will fit over your finger. Maybe that's why it's called a glove. But why is it called foxglove? No one knows for sure. I've never seen a fox with gloves. Have you? These came from a tree. This is famous for its white papery bark. Ooh, I think I know what that is. Look at all that pollen. That's what makes you sneeze. Achoo! Oops. The flowers of a white birch are almost invisible. They hang together in clusters called catkins. The male catkins will drop their yellow pollen in the wind. If some pollens land on a female catkin, birch seeds will grow. Ooh, what are these fuzzy things? Look, these buds feel like the fur of a coat. These are called pussy willow buds. When the buds open in the spring, they are soft and furry. When they open even more, you'll see they are packed with tiny flowers. So here are some of the flowers we've looked at in our story today. Ooh, stay tuned. We're gonna be looking at more flowers for real. 
Well, boys and girls, look at all these different flowers that I found right here at our school. Each one is so different. Look at how pretty and delicate that one is. Oh, it's pretty. And then this one, oh, it has some little parts inside that we're gonna talk about. But look at how pretty the color is. This is a little clover that just smells so nice. This is called a pink. Oh, and it has some little, looks like little feathers in there. But aren't they beautiful? This is a rose. Mmm, smell. Mmm. And remember our story talked about dandelions. Look at that. Dandelions are lots of little individual flowers. Know if you rub this under your chin and it turns yellow, they say you like butter. But it's really just the pollen that you're rubbing on your chin. And we have another pretty azalea. And look at the parts. That tall little part right there is called the stigma. And the little tiny brown spots, those are called the anthers. And those have pollen on them. And when the pollen gets on top of that little stigma right there, the plant says, oh, I think I'm done growing. Why do you think flowers are so pretty and smell so good? What are they trying to attract? Yes, they're trying to attract bees so that the bees can brush up against the pollen and take it to another plant. Boys and girls, these are the parts of a flower. And remember we talked about that long little tube looking thing at the top, it was a stigma. And the little brown packages on the side are called the anthers, full of pollen. So this is what a flower looks like. I hope you had fun.